One of the biggest problems people have with the carnivore diet is that they get sick of meat and want to eat something else, and as a result, they slip off the diet. So in today's video, we're going to address just that. First, we're going to have a look at why we get sick of something, and then I'm going to break down what you can do so that you never get sick of meat again. If you don't know who I am, my name's Max German. I'm an online fitness coach who's helped hundreds of people lose weight with the carnivore diet. So, why do we get sick of eating a food? When you think about it from a surface level perspective, it doesn't really make much sense that when we eat the exact same thing for multiple days in a row, that after we have it multiple times, we start to enjoy it less and less. Now the reason for this is because toxins like the defense chemicals in these foods start building up over time. Now let's look at an example of almond butter on toast. Let's say you had that for breakfast every single morning for a month. Why is it that after a month you start getting sick of it? One of the defense chemicals in almonds is literally cyanide, which has been used throughout history by assassins to poison people. So what happens is over time as you eat more and more almond butter, more and more of the cyanide is going to accumulate in your body. And after enough times of being poisoned, your body's going to be like, whoa, 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 stop that. We don't want any more of the stuff. So it's going to send you a negative feedback mechanism in the sense that it's no longer going to taste as good. Now this applies to literally any food. Even if you're just eating the toast by itself, because wheat contains lectins, over time, the lectins would build up, and so you'd start to get this negative feedback mechanism as well. Now, I'm sure there's at least one person watching this video and thinking to themselves, there's no way that's actually it. How could our taste buds be that smart? Well, I want you to think about this. When you have a massive meal, and you eat to the point where you're completely full, you're borderline feeling sick, and you just cannot put any more in your mouth, because the food tastes so disgusting. If we didn't have such incredibly sophisticated and complex taste buds, why is it that this food that tasted amazing 10 minutes ago is now tasting horrible? Our taste buds can literally change in the span of 10 minutes to stop us from overeating. So if we're getting a massive buildup of a certain toxin, of course they're going to change so we stop consuming this. Now because of this, this is why lots of people think that they want to diet with lots of variety. You often hear people say things like, oh I could never do the carnivore diet, I like to have variety in my diet. It's like, yeah, of course, your body's being poisoned and it wants to eat something different. Of course you can't eat the same thing over and over when it's gradually tasting worse because your body wants you to stop eating it. Think about it, if you could eat your favourite food every single meal and never get sick of it, so that every single time you ate it, it tasted as good as it ever has, you would no longer have this desire for variety. How do we never get sick of eating something? It's very simple. You just eat fatty meat. When you start to eat this fatty meat over and over again, your body's quickly going to realise that there's no toxins in it it has every single nutrient you need in the perfect quantities, and that you just feel amazing in general after eating it. And so because you're not getting this build up in toxins like you would if you're eating some sort of plant, you're never going to get sick of it, assuming you don't do these next two things that I'm going to talk about. The first thing you need to do is avoid putting seasoning on your meat. You see, all of these spices are toxic to us and they contain a number of defense chemicals. The easiest way you can see this for yourself is if you eat some of it by itself. When you eat something individually, if it tastes bitter, if it doesn't taste good to you, that means your body is giving you a negative feedback mechanism and it's not good for you. So what will happen if you put these spices on your meat is that over time the defense chemicals in these spices will build up in your system. And so as I talked about earlier it's going to start tasting worse and worse. However, because you're having this on your meat it also means that your meat is going to start tasting worse and worse. So what will happen is people will think, oh I'm just sick of eating meat when in reality it's your body telling you to stop putting spices on it. Now this can literally be something as simple as pepper. I had a client once who told me he was getting sick of eating beef. So I said to him, well how are you cooking it, what are you doing with it? And he told me that he was putting pepper on. So I just said to him, stop putting pepper on it. And guess what, it's been months now, he's still on carnivore, and he loves his steaks more than ever. Now another thing these spices are going to do is mess with our taste buds. Because these spices just have so much flavour to them, especially like the spicy ones and stuff like that, because when we eat meat and it has a much more subtle taste, it's just going to seem like meat has a lot less flavour than it actually does due to the contrast and taste between the spices and the meat. So if you are putting spices on your meat, I highly advise you take them off and you will find that over time just a regular steak with a bit of salt on it starts tasting better and better to you. Hey guys, it's me again. I wanted to let you all know that I've written an ebook which is a complete beginner's guide on the carnivore diet. It's only 17 pages long and it covers everything you need to know. So whether you're a seasoned carnivore who wants to refresh their knowledge or a beginner who's looking for somewhere to get started, this one's for you. All you have to do is head down to the description of this video, click the top link and I'll send it to you for free. And on top of that, I'll send you a couple emails each week with some bonus tips I have regarding the carnivore diet. There's no catch, it's literally all for free. So go down to the description to claim your free copy now. Now the next tip to never get sick of eating meat is to avoid going off carnivore if you can. Especially with things like ultra processed foods and even things like fruit which have been genetically modified to be ultra sweet. Again, as I talked about earlier, due to the massive contrast and taste between these things, the subtle flavour of the meat isn't going to be quite as appealing. 
So every time you go off carnivore and your taste buds get exposed to this massive amount of flavor, it's going to make the taste of meat slightly worse. So when you're not messing your taste buds around and there are more of their, I guess you could call it, natural state, meat is just going to start tasting better. Literally, every single steak I eat just tastes amazing to me because my taste buds aren't wrecked by eating these other things. And as well as the fact that my body recognizes that eating the stuff is just going to make me feel amazing and it's going to give it everything it needs. So it continues to send me more and more positive feedback mechanisms in the sense that it tastes better and better. So yeah, literally, the trick is to just eat fatty red meat with salt on it and do it over and over again until you start getting these positive feedback mechanisms and then you'll never want to eat anything else because the steak just tastes so amazing. Like I said, I don't even have the desire to eat other foods because steak just tastes so incredible to me now. Literally, I feel so lucky and so blessed to be able to eat my favorite food on the planet for every single meal. Now this might sound ridiculous and you might think I'm lying to you, which you definitely should not think because I could not imagine someone going on the internet and not telling the truth. I don't think that's ever happened in history before. But if you do think I'm lying to you, go and ask any other long-term carnivore and they will tell you the exact same thing. So yeah, that basically breaks down why you don't get sick of eating meat on the carnivore diet. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of my content, consider subscribing. It's completely free and it means you'll see more videos like this. If you have anything to add or any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time. YouTube reckons you'll like this video I made, so if YouTube's got it right, click that button.